God. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. He's mm. a wonderful God. And that, that's, so when you look at it that way, to say, hey, he's a healer. <laughs> that's what he is. And you tell yourself that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. healed. Amen. I am healed. And, and, and the interesting thing is, there's this, there's this scripture that says, um, He forgives us of our sins and heals us of all diseases. Guess what? God will forgive you of your sins yes. and He will heal you of all your diseases. Amen. Sometimes, I think the reason why that scripture is right there is simply because maybe something happens to you and you fall sick or something, you're going to start tormenting yourself and start thinking maybe because I sinned and now this is the judgment for my sin and the moment you feel like because you sinned and this is the judgment for your sin you will never be healed as long as your mindset is thinking I am sick because of my sin therefore your body may never heal so now God has to tell you no I forgive you of your sins because the moment you feel that forgiveness of your sins, guess what? You're going to have a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And he is known as Jehovah Shalom, the Lord God, your peace. The one that gives you peace that surpasses human understanding. It is when you come to that place of peace that your body begins to heal. Yes. Amen. Without peace, you can't heal. Yes. Amen. No wonder why you realize that a lot of emotionally broken people easily get sick. Mm -hmm. Emotionally broken people easily get sick simply because their immune system fails mm. the moment they're emotionally broken mm. no wonder why you realize there's, there's that scripture that says above all things i wish thou mayest prosper mm. be in health even as thy soul prospereth yes. god wants you to have a sound mind at all times yes. because that's how you keep healthy yes. if i can just say yeah. when i was sick mm. There were attacks. I'm sure you, you came to the house and yes, you saw yes. from my daughter, mm. from my husband's side. I was even finding him messaging other women mm. while I was sick. Mm. And those were the things that were actually bringing me down, mm. yes. preventing me from recovering. From recovering. Mm. I, I, want, I want to just say that that is so true. Mm. The devil attacks mm. yes. you. Mm. He uses the people closest to mm. you mm. to attack you. Yes. And um, those things were not real. Mm. Because I, I, when, I, when I spoke to my husband and I spoke to my da daughter, mm. I actually told them, the reality is mm. this. Mm. Yeah. That thing that you're doing is not reality. Mm. Mm. You cannot. Yeah. That is, is a, a false reality that the devil gives us. True. Yes. True. Uh, True. That, that wasn't the truth. Mm. And I began to pray for my mm. marriage. Mm. And I began to pray for my daughter. Mm. Yes. And I may believe in God that mm. things are going to be okay. Amen. 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 He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. God. Yes. Because uh, marriage is important to God. In, the, in, 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 in Micah, mm. there's a verse in Micah that says he hates mm. divorce. Yes. yes. And mm. that was where I was going. Mm. Mm. Imagine you are sick and then you have this stress. Your immune system just fails. Amen. Yes. This, this, this wasn't just going to be divorce. This was going to be death. Amen. <laughs> this was going to be death. And do you know how we were going to record that death? We don't record it as, an, as, as emotional brokenness, failure that mm -hmm. caused death. Amen. No, we say the person died from COVID-19. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and, and we're going to have you as one of the statistics. That's just Testing. Yeah, you <laughs> know, but, 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 the, but the real thing that would have cured the person is that stress. Amen. Because this, I mean, this is just simple, pure biology. When you're, when you are stressed, your, the soldiers in your body will not be able to fight and defend your body. That's why you need to. That's why you need to be at peace at all times. Yes. That's why God says, "Don't be worried." Amen. God says to you, "Don't be worried." The word of the Lord to you on every day is, "Don't be worried." Amen. Don't be worried. Don't spend your time focusing on all these things because if you do, you will mess up your own uh, chemical system in your own body and cause unnecessary sickness. <laughs> and probably result in death unnecessarily mm. simply because you're not taking care of yourself Amen. when god told you not to be worried you were saying it for your own good yes. he was saying that in order to protect you Amen. in order to protect you thank you Pastor. in order to protect you 
So stay in that particular place where you're not worried. Mm -hmm. Where you just have peace, the peace of God that surpasses human understanding. Mm -hmm. Like people look at you and they don't understand. Why are you at peace? How is it possible that you are at peace? How can you be at peace in the midst of all this? <laughs> in the middle of all this and, and you are at peace. You're in a hopeless place mm. right now. Mm. That's on the devil's mm. lies. Mm. The enemy's lies. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. So, so, so you better be at peace at all times. Because God promises you that in, the, in this particular verse where he says, and I will show you my salvation. And, and I think this word should be in your head, regardless of what you're going through. And what should be in your head is, he will show me his salvation. In other words, he will deliver me, he will preserve me, he will protect me, and he will, li and, you know, he will liberate me. And this is what has to be in your mind at all times. You tell yourself that I am preserved, I am liberated, and I am protected. You tell yourself that I'm coming out and I'm coming out victorious. Amen. I'm coming out and I'm coming out victorious. Amen. Mm, I, I am beating this thing. No way did he promise us easy, but mm. he did say he will take us through it. He will take us through it. Amen. He's Amen. a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Amen. And we need to hold on to his word. Yes. Hold on to the word of the Lord. Keep trusting Jesus. Mm, because it's pretty, it's pretty clear. You are going to go through the valley of the shadow of death. And it's obvious, COVID-19 sounds like it, isn't it? It sounds like the valley of the shadow of death. And as you go through that valley, just be reminded that his rod and his stuff is right there with you. And guess what's his job? To comfort you. In other words, you better be comforted by the word of God as you go through this particular time. Like for instance, some people may have died simply because the only thing they've heard is if you get this thing you're going, going to, die. to die so in other words their bodies give up immediately after which they are immediately after which the test positive guess what their bodies do their bodies give up and their soldiers throw the weapons down and they say we can't go any further because the media told us if you get this thing you are going to die they stop fighting and then they die See, this is why the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, because out of it are the issues of life. Out of it are the issues of life. So you need to guard your heart. You need to protect your heart. Be very careful what you hear, especially during this particular time. Especially during this particular time. Don't forget the testimonies of the things that God has done for you in the past, because now there is COVID-19. Don't forget the testimonies. God has delivered you from so many things. So many things that you need to remind yourself in the event that you actually contract COVID-19 and you're sleeping on that bed. You need to remind yourself of those things that God has done for you. And begin to praise Him in that bed. And you tell yourself that I am going to come out and I'm going to come out and come out victorious. Because my God is going to show me His salvation. My God is going to show me His salvation. salvation. My God is going to show me His salvation. My God is going to deliver me. My God is going to liberate me. My God is going to preserve me. My God is going to give me a testimony. Amen. My God is going to give me a testimony. I'm going to have a story Amen. that I will be able to tell someone else and encourage them to say that you too can make it. Just say something, Pastor. Yeah. When I paid my tithes mm. after being sick, mm. I couldn't afford to pay my tithes mm. because my rent was short, my electricity was short, there was no food in the house. Mm. But I paid my tithes wow. because mm. I know that mm. I need God mm. more Amen. than I need the food and the roof over mm. my head. Mm. He will provide. provide. Amen. He will Amen. satisfy Amen. my Amen. I trust God enough because mm. that's the one thing that I hold on to yeah. is my God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. That's See, amazing. And I think that's the reason why that's what saved me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I'm, I was gone. Mm -hmm. I was believing mm -hmm. the enemy's lies, mm -hmm. but he came, he was there, mm -hmm. and he was holding me. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. 
and I didn't know it mm -hmm. because I'm a tither and I'm faithful with my tithes, mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. because I need God. I true, no matter true. what situation mm -hmm. I'm in, I know that I need God. True, mm -hmm. very true. Amen. Amen. Very true. Jesus. Yeah, she she is faithful. She is faithful. <laughs> if there's Thank anyone I know Jesus. who pays a tithe as her, and the young man sitting over there. Amen. Let's go. That is such a important thing. That is an, <laughs> the reason we yes. believe in today is because yeah. no matter how far away mm. from God we run, mm. Mm. it only yeah. takes one step to get back to Him, and that's mm. the place I'm at mm. now. Mm. I'm so Amen. thankful yeah. that He was there. Yeah. God is good. Jesus. God Amen. is good. Yes. So regardless of what you are going through, be reminded that God is right there with you. Amen. And He promised to show you His salvation. Amen. Amen. You've got to be in some stuff. You've got to be in some issue in order for God to deliver you. I wanted to say thank you for, for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to go through something. You've got to go through something in order for you to be delivered. I mean, how are you going to tell me that God delivered you when you, you've been through nothing? Yes. And how are you going to be an encouragement to someone else who's going through stuff? Because the thing is, some of the things that we go through, it says that we may be of comfort to others. And says that we, we also at the same time will not be arrogant towards others. You know, people who have never gone through stuff are arrogant. They don't know how it feels to go through stuff. They judge you. They judge you, they condemn you. You know, and 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 and, and they they keep away from you. <laughs> they make you look like you the actual disease. Yes. You know. Like you the one that manufactured it. But we know you didn't manufacture it. <laughs> You know, it's not you. And they probably have it. They just haven't tested. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it too. You just didn't I test. I didn't even know where I got it. <laughs> you got it too, but you just didn't test. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're one of those who was not going to get terribly sick. Mm -hmm. You know? You're probably one of those who are not going to get terribly yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. and, and then you go around judging other people simply because they have something. Right now, what you need to do is to stand in prayer. Amen. Believe in God for them. And trusting God for everybody mm. they for. Mm. Mm. it's not them mm. Mm. the devil is mm. so busy because people mm. don't know yeah. who the savior is yeah. and and my prayer has been if i know you and do you know me and you test positive for COVID 19 you are not going anywhere yeah. you are not dying yes. on me Thank you. <laughs> you are not Dying on me. If I know you and you know me, you are not dying from COVID-19. You're not, you're, not you're not dying before your time. You're not dying before your time. And that is proven to be true in my life. Everyone I know personally, everyone I know personally who test positive for COVID-19 and they probably send me an inbox and they say, Pastor, I am sick from COVID-19. I, I tell you that I'm praying for you and I mean it. I literally do pray for you. Amen. And guess what? Everyone I know has literally recovered. Thank you. Jesus. Everyone I know has literally recovered. Thank you. And some some had serious had serious um, serious conditions and they have recovered. Because there is a God who is in heaven. There's a God who is in heaven. There's no on earth that I will know you and you will die from COVID-19. It's not possible. Because there is a God who is in Heaven. He's a healer. Amen. Okay, he healer. something so small. Mm. That virus is mm. so small, but mm. it's killed so many people. Mm. Mm. Enemies' lives. The enemies' lives. And also, in closing, what I should just say is that everybody thinks COVID-19 probably started uh, in November or in December, isn't it? December 2019. But COVID-19 actually started, according to research, it started in mid-September. Mid-September 2019. And the interesting thing is, from mid-September 2019 up until, up until December, or maybe even up until January and March in other countries, in other countries,